Welcome to another Dharma Trading product video. Today's is on Fiber Etch. Fiber Etch is a gel that when applied to a fiber blend, such as silk rayon or cotton poly, dissolves the cellulose plant fiber part of the fiber and leaves the protein or polyester part of the fiber behind. The fabrics for Deborah Ray are made for this process. One layer of the fabric is the cellulose, the other layer is protein. You draw a design or a figure on the fabric with the fiber etch or use a stencil or use freezer paper to cut out a design such as this leaf and then you iron it onto the fabric and then you apply the fiber etch, let it dry and then iron to heat set it and remove the cellulose part of the fiber. Okay, now we've cut out our freezer paper in a leaf design and we're going to iron it onto the Deborah fabric using an iron on the silk setting. Just gently go over the area to melt the backing of the freezer paper onto the fabric. Okay, so I've taped down a piece of plastic to protect the table and I've also taped down the edge of the fa fabric so that it won't move around when I'm trying to put the fiber etch on it. I've already put the fiber etch into a cup and I'm using the foam brush to apply the fiber etch to the, the satin. You want to do this as evenly as you can so that you don't have high and low parts, thick and thin parts of the gel on your fabric. It won't remove evenly. Once you've covered the areas you wish to have removed, you just pull off your pattern carefully. and remove it from the plastic and let it dry. So now it's dry and we're ready to iron it. You turn it over so it's on the wrong side. Silk side is up and you take your iron, you turn it on to the wool setting dry iron, no steam, and you gently go over the surface until you start to see the surface turning brown. This is where it's actually burning out. But be careful because too much ironing, too hot, too much burning will make a hole in the silk. Just keep ironing and checking it to see if it's ready. And you can tell because the fiber will actually crack like this. You can see the cracking and this is how it's going to start peeling off when you when you wash it. So you want to make sure that that's happening because you cannot go back and reapply the gel. It will burn the silk part of the fiber. So make sure that you can see that this is already flaking off. If you can see that, those areas, I can just pull off with my fingernail. Wash it under cool water and um, gently with your fingers smooth it and while it's under running water 
and just keep working it gently to get the burned fibers off. Once you do that, you can just wash it gently again and then it's ready for dyeing. Okay, here's the piece that has been washed out partially. Uh, you can see that there's still a little bit more to go. You can see that you still have to clean up some of these edges, but this is basically the process of the Devoray. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy doing it. We'll show you some finished pieces in a, in a moment. Okay, these are some examples of Devoray satin and Devoray velvet. These have been dyed. This is the Devoray satin, this one and this one, and they've both been dyed with Procyon dyes. These are the Devoray velvets, and they've both been dyed with the Alter Ego dyes. For more information about the dyes and the fabrics and the scarves, please visit our website. Thank you.